the word of God. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. We pray the blessing of God be released upon the word of God. That not I speak, but you speak, God. I decrease, so you increase. I sit down, so you stand up, and you get all the glory. Bless this word of God. Holy Spirit, lead me, guide me, govern me, and direct me. In Jesus' name, we give you praise. Amen. Amen. Psalm 42, verse 1. Hallelujah. Psalms 42, verse 1. I long to drink of you, O God, to drink deeply from the streams of pleasure flowing from your presence. My longings overwhelm me for more of you. My soul thirsts, pants, and longs for the living God. In other words, I want to come and see the face of God. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 5 verse 6 says, How enriched you are when you crave righteousness. When you have a longing for a desire to pursue righteousness. How enriched are you when you crave righteousness? For you will be satisfied. In other words, you will be pleased. You will be joyful. I'm, le I'm reading from the passage translation. The message translation says it like this. Matthew 5 or 6. You're blessed when you work up a good appetite for God. Mm. Mm. You're blessed when you work up a good appetite for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Amplified Version says, Psalm 42. I want to go back to that. Praise God. Psalms 42. And the word of God says, as the heart pants, the other version will say, as the deer pants and longs for the water brooks. So I pant and long for you, O God. Verse 2, my inner self thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? Hallelujah. I want to go on reading the scripture. My tears have been my food day and night. I don't know who's there. When men say to me all day long, where is your God? Have you heard some people ask you that question? Where is your God? Mm. These things I earnestly remember and pour myself out within me. How I went slowly before the throne and led them in the procession to the house of God. With the voice of shouting and praise and throne keeping festival. Verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my inner self? Why should you moan over me and be disquieted within me? 
the oppression of my enemy. Some of you have been oppressed. But I believe that Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen. And you have the anointing through Jesus Christ for burden removing and yoke destroying. That you're not going to allow yourself to be oppressed by the slave master. Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen. There's liberation and there's freedom in the presence of God. Amen. Verse 10. As with a sword crushing in my bones, my enemies taunt and reproach me. While they say continually to me, where is your God? Why are you cast down over my inner self? Why should you moan over me and be disquieted within me? Hope in God. Tell your neighbor, hope in God. Lord. And wait expectantly for him. For I shall yet praise him who is the help of my countenance and my God. I will praise him in my waiting. I will praise him in my waiting. I will sing of the goodness of God in my waiting. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, praise the Lord. The Lord is leading me in a different direction this morning, right? So I will praise God in the midst of my pain. I will praise God in the midst of my difficulties. I will praise God in the midst of my challenges. Even though when people will say, where is your God? They look at you going to the house of God. They look at you uh, walking with God and serving God. But nothing's changing. Nothing's coming right. So they ask you the question, where is your God? And I'm here to tell you today that God is right there where you want him to be. He's working in you. Word of God says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. In Him I live, in Him I move, and in Him I have my being. Where is my God? My God is exactly where He is. He's sitting on the throne. He's not moved by anything. He's not moved by any circumstances. He's not moved by any situation. My God has got me. My God has got this, and my God will see me through. Might not be in my timing, it might not be in your timing, but it'll be at the appointed time of God. And that's why in my waiting, I will choose to wait on God. Why? Because I know my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Are you understanding the people of God? Thomas David says, Many are the fictions of the righteous. I might be oppressed, I might be tossed and turned, left, right, and center, but know that I stand on the ground, the firm foundation, the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell someone today that we know that we are part of a kingdom that is unshakable, it is unmovable, it is a firm foundation. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes. I may be cast aside, but I'm not destroyed. Yes. I may be pushed aside, but I'm not destroyed. Yes, Lord. I may be hard pressed on every side, but I think I'm moving forward, something happens. And I think I'm moving so forward, something happens. And something happens. I might be hard pressed on every side, but I'm not crushed down, and I will not be destroyed. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even though I might be crushed in spirit. But I know that my process, I've got to go through a crushing process. Yes, Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But I know one thing for certain, that I will not be destroyed. Yes, Amen. I'm here to tell Amen. someone today, you will not be destroyed. Amen. You will not be destroyed. Amen. You will not be put to shame. Amen. My God, you Amen. will not be destroyed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So wait on God. Amen. Wait on God. Those who wait upon the Lord, He shall renew your strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When they thought they hit you with their best shot, you just get back up again. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus. You're moving above your past resentment. You're moving above your rejection. You're moving above your mishaps. I'm here to tell you, you're moving up. You're moving up. Touch me, people, and say, you're moving up. Come on, somebody. I'm moving up. I'm moving up.
And that's why you got to make sure that you don't turn your location off. Say, neighbor, don't turn your location off with God. Come and tell him, don't turn your location off with God. You got to keep it constant. You got to be in constant fellowship with God. You got to be in constant relationship with God. Not with church and religion and with rituals. I said with God. With the spirit of God. Because in that place there's life. There's abundance. There's fruitfulness. In that place he will restore your soul. He will revive your life. And he will refresh. These are times of refreshing. He comes in and he refreshes you. Holy Spirit refreshes you in the presence of God. Where is your God? Where is your God? He's right there within you in the presence of God. Your body is the tabernacle. Hallelujah. Your body is the temple of God where the Spirit of God dwells. Amen. Come on somebody. God is not somewhere out there. God is not somewhere in the sky. God is within you. In man you will. He's within you. You gotta find out. You gotta find and discover the God within you. Yeah. Worship the God within you. Yeah. Not any golden image or golden castle or idols. No, that's all idolatry worship and paganism. We worship in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Are you understanding that? Yeah. Are you understanding that? Yeah. Why am I cast down, David says? In this place where I am. Why should I sit up camp in the midst of my valleys? My valleys are meant for me to go through. Not for me to take a bed and lie down and complain that nobody's there and nobody loves me. And God, where are you? God, don't you understand? God, don't you see? God sees. Yes, yeah. God sees. God knows all things. But the question is, are you allowing yourself to see what God is revealing to you? Are you allowing yourself to hear what God is saying to you? Or are you too busy that you can't listen? You're too busy yelling the echo voices, the voices of people, the voices of the enemy, and you're not in a place of quietness to hear what God is saying? What are you longing for in your trouble? What are you longing for in your storm? What are you longing for? I'm reminded of the story. I'm reminded of the story of where God talks about Ishmael the Lamb. That they had, uh, he had the last uh, bread and water to drink, uh, and everything was finished. Uh, afterward, they were cast out. Abraham cast them out. Ishmael had the last, and the Bible says Ishmael was standing in the place of the wilderness. Uh, and the word of God says that God heard the cry of the lad. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm here to tell you that it's not over. Yeah. I'm here to tell you that those who cry out to God. I'm here to tell you the word of God says in Jeremiah 33 must be called unto me and I will answer you and show you greater and unsearchable things that you do not know. There is a cry that God hears. Amen. There's a cry that God hears. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. Micah the prophet said it so profoundly in chapter 7. Praise God, Micah chapter 7, and you can read verse 7, 8, and 9, but better praise it. Micah said now, he says in the word of God, he says, don't rejoice over me, oh my enemies. That scripture stood with me in the times of when people put me down. I remember I called on that scripture and I said, do not rejoice over me, oh my enemies. Though I set you in darkness, the Lord will be my light. The Lord will be my salvation. The Lord will be the lift of my head. I stood on that scripture. I stood on that word and I began to feed on that word. God began to turn the situation around. Amen. I, mean, I, I know the Lord has led me to speak this to someone today. Yes. Let them rejoice. They're laughing at you. They let them do what they want to do. Let them say what they want to say. Yes. But I'm standing on the word of God. Yes. And I'm going to say, do not rejoice over me, oh my enemies. Though I sit yes. here in darkness. I know my God shall deliver me. I know my God shall help me. I know my God shall bring me through. I'm here to tell you today, God will bring you through. God will bring you out and God will take you to places you've never been. I'm here to tell someone today, it's time to move up. It's time to move up. You're moving up in places. You're moving up in rankings. You're moving up in positions. Why? You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer. That's what the word of God says. Do 
not your choice. Oh my enemy. Though I sit here in darkness, the Lord will be my light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? What can man do to me? What can man do to me? Whom shall I fear? But I know that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Oh my, my, my. And so I'm here to tell you today, separate yourself from the place of comfort. Separate yourself from the place of familiarity. Divorce your problems today. Divorce your situations today. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. It's time for you to lift up your head. Tell your neighbor, lift up your head. Lift up your head. Quickly, come on, lift up your head. Come on, say, lift up your head. Come on, say, lift up your head. You know what? We, 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 we're not assigned to walk with our head down and our back bent. Not always me. What am I going to do? The devil's doing this, the devil's doing that, and the devil, and the devil, and the devil, and the devil. Lift. Shut up and lift up your head. And speak the word of God. Sometimes you say unnecessary things for nothing. Yes. Sometimes you just gotta shut up. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. some of you get into a problem because of what comes out of your mouth. Yeah. 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 And you always want to blame somebody else. Yeah. But you forgot what you said with your mouth. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So lift up your head. Abraham, lift up your head. Like before Abraham could lift up his head, when God told him the instruction, God said, Abraham, it's time for you that you have to leave Lot. You have to disconnect from Lot. You have to divorce Lot. You have to separate from Lot. Lot is strife. Lot is confusion. You see, you've got to divorce the things that is not of God in your life. Amen. Stop sitting up camp in the midst of the things that's not of God. Yes. You gotta divorce those things. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Amen. You got to divorce those things. Amen. You got to separate yourself. Amen. The word of God says, shun the very appearance of evil. Amen. The word of God says, separate yourself. Come out from amongst Amen. them. Yes. Come out from amongst certain places and people, relationships, relationships, sorry, and friendships that has expiry dates. Come on, somebody. Separate yourself. Come out from that place. Why? You are called to be set apart. Yes. Say, I am called, I am called to, be set apart. to be set apart. Not to fit in. Not, Not to fit in. in. Not to fit in. Not to fit but in. But to stand out. Stand are you out. understanding this, family of God? Are you understanding this? Amen. You are valuable, you are unique, and you are special, and you are precious. So you are assigned to stand out. Amen. Are you understanding this? Amen. God now says, Abraham, you got to separate now. Mm. Yeah. Abraham made a decision to separate because I cannot go on with this here. Sometimes... Reality stares us in the face. Mm -hmm. But we choose to ignore it. Mm -hmm. I always tell some people, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. When are you going to wake up? Mm -hmm. It's in front of you, but you choose not to accept it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to accept it. Mm -hmm. You're always looking for approval from people. Mm -hmm. You're always looking for validation from people. Mm -hmm. You're always looking for assurance from people. And you're forgetting God. That God is your source. God is the giver of life. God is the one that promotes people. I prophesy promotion. God's the one that promotes you. Hallelujah. 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 Are you understanding this, people of God? So now Abraham has to separate from Lot, right? Genesis chapter 12, and you can read it at home. He has to separate from Lot. Yes. You've got to make a decision. 
that you're willing to be determined to separate from old behaviors, yeah. old patterns, mm -hmm. old old way of thinking, old way of living, sometimes even patterns from your mother and father, you have to let go that is not adding value to your life, that's not even alignment to the word of God. Amen. Amen. And you're holding on to them because you want, you want to keep a legacy of love. Love in what? Lies? No. Come on somebody, am I telling the truth? Yes. We must be a generation of truth. Yes. We must be a generation that loves truth. We must be a generation that preaches truth. We must be a generation that teaches truth. Amen. 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 Some of you got to get some stuff Amen. out. Stop doing some things that you pass that's been passed down that is not in alignment to the word of God, Amen. not in agreement to God's word. You got to stop doing those things. Amen. This is for someone. Yes. You got to clean up. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, clean up. Yeah. It's a clean up time. Yeah. Come on, it's a clean up time. Yeah. We place in every opinion before the truth of God's word. It's a clean up time. It's a clean up time. I said it's a clean up time. I said it's a clean up time. And it's a clean up time to yourself. Get all that old junk out of you. Amen. 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 Get it out. Come on, get it out. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So Abraham separates from Lot. And what happens now when Abraham separates from Lot? Now Lot says, Abraham, lift up your head. You see, something, what is preventing you from looking up? <laughs> oh, my God. You see, that's why we're too distracted by things that's happening around us. Mm. Mm. Come on. That, that is distracting us to focus on the problems and the concern of tomorrow. Jesus says in the book of Matthew, do not worry about tomorrow. Be anxious of nothing. But in everything, in prayer and supplication, be made known unto God with thanksgiving. Amen. Don't I take care of the birds of the air? Yes. How much more will I take care of my very own? Amen. Do you know who you are? Amen. I am God's property. Amen. So God will take care of me. Amen. Oh, come on. I said God will take care of me because I am God's property. Amen. Are you understanding that? Amen. 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 My boast is in Christ alone. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So God says, now Abraham, lift up your head and close you. Lift up your head. And God says, now, as far as you see Abraham, I'm going to give it to you. Mm. Yeah. You see, we're looking at the current situation and we're fighting for that. And God says, more I have in store beyond that. Amen. 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 So God says, Abraham, lift up your head. Yeah. Then God says, Abraham, as far as you see, I'll give it to you. Yes. Amen. Amen. The question is, are you willing to see in your seeing? Mm. Mm. Are you willing to allow God to remove the scales of your eyes that you see beyond the natural eyes? Mm. And you see into the spirit. Mm. You see into the supernatural. Why? You walk by faith. Are you understanding that? Amen. Right? So God said, Abraham, how far you see, I'm going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Then God says, Abraham, now God says, Abraham, I want you to walk the length and the breadth of what you see. Mm -hmm. You see, the problem we have today, my final point is this. We have too many people who are willing to walk the length and the breadth of their problems. Oh, Apostle, woe is me. Nobody understands and nobody sees. And I'm going through this and I'm going through that. And I told somebody in this week, I said, when last have you rested? When last have you physically rested? When last have you stepped into 
the truth of your true rest in Jesus, to rest in Him, be still and know that He's God. Yeah. Everything is the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. The problem we have is that people walk the length and the breadth of their problems that they start looking like the problem and you know what? You become a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But when you walk the length and the breadth of the promises of God, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God is the solution, right? Amen. His answers is in the word of God. So when I walk the length and the breadth of the word of God and the promises of God, I become not a problem, but I become the solution. Amen. You, see, you should not be adding to people's problems. You should be a solution yes, in people's yeah. lives. You yeah. should be a hope yeah. to somebody. You should be a light to somebody. You should be the salt to somebody. You are a solution in someone's life. You. Amen. Are you Amen. understanding this? Amen. Are you understanding this? Yes. God says, walk the bread. Walk the bread of what you see. God never <coughs> tell Abraham, walk five days, walk three days. Well, he says, just walk. So my walking will never stop because I walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. My seeing will never stop because I see by faith in the spirit and not by sight in the natural. I see beyond the current. Jesus. Yes. My breakthrough is coming. Yes, yes. My miracle is coming. Amen. Come on, somebody. Some Amen. of you got to get ready. Amen. Some of you got to You got to get ready for a miraculous catch. Amen. Listen to me. Listen to me. My God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus comes and they were fishing all night. Fishing and fishing and fishing and fishing. Jesus says to them, have you caught anything? He says, no, we haven't caught anything. Jesus says, okay, now cast your net on the other side. Tell your neighbor it's time to cross over to the other side. Get out of the flesh into the spirit. Get out of the natural into the supernatural. Come on, somebody. Jesus says, now cast your net on the other side. And the disciples said to Jesus, but he, he, he first complained and he said, we fished all night, we didn't catch anything. And Jesus cast it. And then, then the disciples said, Jesus, at your word. At your, my God, at your word, at your word, not the opinions of people, not, my God, who am I talking to, not negative comments, not statements, not anything coming from no one in this government, in this country, in this world, but at your word, oh God, I will cast my net on the other side. And when you hear and obey God and you hearken to the voice of God and to the promises of God, I'm yet to tell you today that God watches over His word to perform His word by His mouth that He should lie. But at your word, O oh God, I will cast. The net. And as he obeyed the word of God, and as he obeyed the instruction from Jesus, come on somebody, there's a voice that comes from the heavens. Kura Masanda, come on somebody. I'm here to tell you, why don't you elevate your ears? Get out of the comfort zone. Get out of the cave. Get out of the noise. You heard Jezebel's voice, and you ran away because she said, this time tomorrow you'll die. I'm here to tell you, you shall live and not die. To the temple of Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell you, get out. Get out of the cave. 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 Get to the place where God wants you to be. And that is in a place of habitation in God, in His presence, seeking after His presence. Amen. Wanting more of Him. I don't want these things of the world. I want more of Him. He is my number one priority because when I seek him first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these other things that I need, my daily needs will be met because why? I seek God. Yeah. But at your word, oh God, there's a voice that is coming from heaven to someone today and saying to you today, cast your nets on the other yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. You try to do it on your own. Jesus says, cast your nets on the other side. Hear yeah, what God is saying. Obey what God is saying. Obey the instructions of God. Do everything that God wants you to do. 
God's word. Let me tell you today, God has the responsibility to back up his word. Amen. Do you know that there is angels and there is angels assigned to wait for the word that just comes out of your mouth to take that word to the throne room? Yes. <coughs> Come on, somebody. Yes. I said, start speaking. Amen. I said start speaking Amen. I said start speaking Not the problem Start speaking the promises of God Amen. I said start declaring the promises of God Amen. Come on you got to walk the length and the breadth of the promises of God Amen. Hallelujah You walk by faith and not by sight I am blessed I am walking in favor I am walking in miracles Come on I am walking in signs and wonders I am walking in the head. Dates for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
that adds no value to your life. Mm -hmm. That's not part of your purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding this? And don't set up camp in the naysayers. Oh, did you hear? Oh, did you hear? Oh, did you hear? Oh, did you hear? Oh, oh, no, no, I didn't hear because I'm hearing what God is saying. I'm not concerned about the negative. Oh, did you hear? Oh, did you hear? Okay, good. It's good you talk about me. I'm famous. Praise God. I always say that. That's why you know why God just lifts you up. God just lifts you up. God just lifts you up. And 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 you just keep on moving forward. And you just keep on moving higher. And now the lady is saying, Oh my God, what happened? What happened? What happened? Because I never ran away in fear when I heard the voice of the Jezebels. I stayed in God. And I'll stay in God. And God is the lifter of my head. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Amen. Those who know they are God shall do great exploits. Yes. Are you understanding this? Are you understanding this? You are assigned to be an agent of change in your world. Amen. Jesus. You've got some praise. 